Hey everybody, it's Eddie Joe on Crypto. Hope you had a great day. So I just got caught out there. I had the television on CNBC and six o'clock hits. I'm on the East Coast of the United States. Six o'clock hits and Jim Cramer comes on. What does he do? He proceeds to go into a tirade about crypto and how the angry mob is, you know, it's all done and you know, crypto this and crypto that, and you know, crypto's nothing. At first I was gonna get upset because I can't stand Jim Cramer. I think that he serves a purpose and he serves the purpose for himself. Um, but I'm listening to him every now and then he has some good stuff to say, but for the most part, I'm not a fan, not a fan. I don't like how he, how he has to, how he feels. He has to scream, talk over people you know, constantly have his head down, looking up like that, screaming, looking angry all the time. It gets to a point where you're just like, ugh. But this tirade kind of hit me different, right? The tirade hit me different because he started talking about crypto and he really, I really don't think he understands crypto, number one. This was not a crypto problem. It was a bad actor problem. That's what this was. And FTX, in case you didn't know what I was referencing, that's a bad actor problem. And he's acting as if that never happens in the stock market. I, 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 recall, I recall something about his take on, uh, was it Bear Stearns or Lehman Brothers or the whole damn thing? Don't talk about what you don't know. Go do your own research. Understand what's going on. Understand why, right? Sam Bankman-Fried made some horrible moves and it all began with, let me use other people's money without their permission. That's what it looks like. For Jim Cramer to get out there and start, you know, screaming and talking nay, he was talking like, oh, well, you know, everybody's talking about DeFi and DeFi this and DeFi that and blah, 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 blah. DeFi is nothing. Well, yeah. So I guess that's why BlackRock is investing so much money having their assets tokenized for the use in DeFi. I guess that's why DBS Bank, JP Morgan, SBI ran that whole Project Guardian thing because DeFi means nothing. I understand that, you know, you're just an entertainer now. I mean, yes, you're probably licensed, don't lie. You probably maintain your licenses, but really you're there for entertainment. I really, 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 really wish you would use your power for good. <laughs> Just, you know, like, I think you know stocks um, sometimes. Um, I think you understand the fundamentals of, you know, doing research on companies. I might not trust your research, but I can understand how you research. Um, but I really think that, you know, this tirade of yours was unnecessary and it wasn't helpful. It didn't educate. Right. Um, keep educating about stocks, how you feel about certain stocks, where they're going, what they're doing, all that kind of stuff for crypto. I think you should take a seat. I'm probably not the only one. There are a lot of YouTubers out there, a lot of, you know, people that know a lot about crypto that would just like for you to take a seat when it comes to crypto. If you don't understand it, don't talk about it. If you don't do it, don't talk about it. Some of us are doing it. Some of us are researching it. Some of us are doing some really good stuff with it that are not bad actors. If you want to point your finger, wag your finger at something, wag your finger at bad actors. I would expect you to do that with anybody in the stock market. I would expect you to do that with anybody in finance in general. But if you're going to pick a whole sector, a whole industry and wag your finger at it, that's not helpful. It's not. What would be helpful is if you help to break down how this was done or help to break down what the money was used for, right? We're not talking about doing something with crypto. He was maneuvering assets that he should not have been maneuvering. It had nothing to do with crypto itself. Well, except when you talk about the, you know, artificial manipulation <laughs> type stuff. But other than that, he's not talking about, you know, any of the real coins that are out there that were failing. 
That's that's not what it was about. It was about somebody that wanted to be greedy and got away with it for a really long time and hid it from a lot of people. Some people might have been involved. I think over time it'll all be shaken out. But if you're going to talk about something, help people to better understand. Don't try to scare them into a direction that you want them to go into. Because it was just a little while that Jim Cramer is out there, you know, bigging up crypto. The technology is solid. A lot of these projects have ridiculous amounts of utility and are being used. That's why I tell people do their own research. Whether you're investing in crypto, in stocks, bonds, options, real estate, businesses, whatever it is, do your own research. Compare notes. Verify things. But if you have somebody who's constantly screaming at you about why you should be upset about something or why you should be afraid of something, go do your own research. Maybe you should be afraid. Or maybe you shouldn't. I normally don't do videos at night. Normally when you see, you know, the lighting like this, it's normally early in the morning. But looking at Jim Cramer just now, just a little while ago, you know, harping on this just really annoyed me a bit. And I thought I'd have to get this out there so people can stop being afraid and start learning. Start learning the difference between custodial wallets and non-custodial wallets understanding the difference between hot wallets and cold wallets understanding the difference between crypto adoption and crypto investment those are all different things the same way that every publicly traded company out there is different you have to do your own research to know where you want to put your money if you plan on growing your value Anyway, this is Eddie J on crypto. I hope you have a great day and I really do hope you do your own research and learn something. Bye-bye.